You are listening to Apparently Ever After, a Brook B Productions audio film. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. Okay, Tamika, you are not going to sit around the house sipping wine and watching a movie by yourself tonight. Brandon is at Omar's and you need to take full advantage. And if you play your cards right, you might actually get some. (sighs) Okay, so what about Yanni? He got that thuggish, ruggish loving, but I haven't talked to him in almost two years. He'll probably think I'm crazy for reaching out after all this time. But you know what? Hey, what do I have to lose? Hi, Yanni. It's Tamika. Tamika? (laughs) Stop playing. You remember me, boy. You don't? Well, how many Tamikas do you know? Three? Oh, well, yeah, Tamika is a very popular name. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm the one that spells Tamika with an E instead of an I. Still doesn't ring a bell. Okay, well, yeah, I'm um <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and let you go, okay? Alright, bye. <sighs> Damn it, Yanni. Alright, let's start at the top of the list. Alexander was pretty cool. Let me see if he remembers me. Hey Alex, it's Tamika. Please say you remember me. (laughs) Okay, you do? Good. So, what's new? You're on a date? Then why are you answering the phone? She went to the bathroom? No, you cannot call me back after your date. What the hell? All right, don't give up, Tamika. Come on, um, let me try the G's. Okay. Hey, Greg, it's Tamika Jackson. Oh, it's not a good time? You're at the animal hospital? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your dog feels better soon. Bye. Ugh. Well, I guess I will be sitting around the house, sipping wine and watching a movie by myself. Let's see who's calling in. Caller, you're live with Tamika and Omar, apparently a raptor. What's your name? My name's Monique. How y'all doing? We're doing good, Monique. Thanks for calling in. So today's question is, you once loved each other. So why all the hate? I'll tell you why all the hate. My baby daddy decided he wanted to leave me for a much younger woman. And he has been trying to keep up with the Joneses ever since. Ooh, Tamika, you want to take this one? I can actually relate, Onique. My son's father is doing the same thing. Do you know what's crazy? He didn't have anything when we were together. But a couple of years ago, he got this high-paying job. And now he's acting like Daddy Warbucks. I feel like Taraji P. Henson in that Tyler Perry movie. Um, acrimony. Not Taraji. Ooh. Just don't get yourself killed at the end. (laughs) Thanks for ruining it for people who've never seen it, Omar. (laughs) <laughs> oh, my bad parents. But come on, Tyler. That ending was predictable. I still love you, though. I used to have feelings of jealousy and anger when it came to my son's father and his relationship. And trust me, I hated to see her decked out in all those expensive outfits and shoes. But I realized that it takes more energy for me to get upset than it does for me to try and get along with him. And I know that sounds cliche, but it is actually very true. So what did you do? Well, I started taking care of me. I got into yoga. I have a standing spa appointment. 
I travel, and I make sure to spend time with my best friend at least once a week. I'm telling you, it has made all the difference. So instead of worrying about what he was doing, I shifted my energy and started focusing on myself. See, parents, this is why I like listening to this podcast. They're genuine and don't sound all preachy. I really love y'all. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you, Monique. We appreciate your support. Yeah, Monique, take care. Thanks for calling in. I think you gave Monique some motivation. I think I did, too. Let's take one more call. Caller, you're live with Tamika and Omar, apparently a raptor. What's your name? Hey, Tamika. What up, Omar? My name is Darren. Hey, Darren. Thanks for calling in. So, you and your ex used to love each other. Why all the hate? Well, she reconnected with this dude she used to date back in college. The only reason I found out is because she got pregnant. And when the baby was born, he ain't look nothing like me. He was the complete opposite of our first son. I demanded a DNA test, which proved the dude from college was the daddy. I just couldn't forgive her for that. Why do you think she started cheating in the first place? You know, I can't say. I asked her the same damn thing, and she couldn't answer me. If she would have said I didn't pay her enough attention, or I didn't satisfy her in bed, or I was selfish, then fine. I could probably understand her cheating. And maybe, just maybe, we could have worked it out. But she couldn't give me not one answer as to why. And that's what hurt me the most, man. I could still hear that hurt in your voice, brother. Yeah, she messed me up, man. All the way up. Is she still with the guy? Nah. After she had the baby, he hung around for a few years. Then he got missing. I bet she's trying to get back with you now, huh? Oh, you already know. She probably tried to come over there with, like, the trench coat on and nothing underneath except the skimpy lingerie. (laughs) Yeah, she tried. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. I know that type. All right. So, Omar, has your baby mama ever tried something like that? No. I did it. I had boxes on, though. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Sorry. How are things now, Darren? Well, the co-parenting thing is a little rocky. But that's why I like your show, because it helped me look at things from a different perspective. I really appreciate what you're doing. No doubt, brother. No doubt. And hey, thanks for calling in. Nah, of course. And thank you for having me. Y'all be easy. Parents, let's recap. When someone we love hurts us, it's no surprise that the love and the happiness we once felt can turn to hatred and anger. The stories we heard in today's podcast were a testament to that. But I always say, regardless of how you decide to treat your ex, please think about your child or your children. They love you. They look up to you. And at the end of the day, I'm sure they want both of their parents to try to get along. Nobody said co-parenting is easy. But co-parenting doesn't have to be a fairy tale. I'm your host, Tamika. And I'm Omar. Before we go, we want to remind you that we'll be taking a month-long break for the summer and we'll be back the first Sunday in August. But don't worry, because we will be airing our favorite episodes every Sunday until we return. Be safe, everyone. We'll see you soon. So now that that episode is over, are you going to tell me what's been bothering you? How do you know something's bothering me? Tamika, we have been doing this podcast together for two years. I think I know a little bit about your temperament. In the last couple of days, you have been more reserved and quiet. Tamika, you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Nathan is engaged. To Alexis? Yep. Oh. I still can't figure out what he sees in her. You must see something. He put a ring on that. I'll never forgive Beyonce for that song. How are you feeling? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't care that he's getting married, but it's who he's getting married to. She's a shallow airhead who thinks looking pretty and wearing expensive clothes makes you successful. She knows nothing about hard work or how to be a stepmom for that matter, but Nathan will never admit it. And there's no chance that you and Alexis will ever become friends. 
nope. Nathan thought it was a good idea to get all of us together for dinner the other night, and the girl spent 10 minutes talking about her clutch. Her clutch! I mean, I like a nice clutch too, but I wouldn't talk someone's ear off for 10 minutes. She was telling y'all about the leather that it was made from and how much room it had in it and the assortment of colors it came in. It was ridiculous. And what was Nathan doing? Sitting there looking embarrassed that the most interesting thing his fiance could talk about was her stupid, expensive clutch. What did you do? I left. You left? I sure did. Brandon ended up staying, but I wasn't going to sit there and put myself through that torture. Nathan called me that night telling me how immature I was, and of course he got into Brandon's head because when he got home, he was upset too, but I didn't care. Well, I don't blame you for leaving. Honestly, if I would have stayed, I'm sure I would have said something mean and the night would have been ruined, so I'm actually glad I left. All right, come on, get up. (laughs) What are you doing? Come on. We are going out. Before you ask if this is a date, it is not. Just two friends hanging out. Cool? Okay. Cool. Wow. That cheeseburger was the best cheeseburger I've ever had. How'd you find out about this place? A co-worker of mine was telling me about it. She brought her kids here and she said it was a good time. Oh, she? <laughs> it's nothing like that. She's just a co-worker. Well, thank you for a fun afternoon. I had a great time whipping your butt in the arcade. Girl, I let you win. <laughs> just like you let me win in basketball shootout and go-karts? What can I say? I'm a gentleman. Mm-hmm. You just don't have any skills. Can I ask you something? Sure. How would you feel if Laura remarried? To be honest, I wouldn't care. You wouldn't? Nope. That woman treats me like garbage, so I'd be happy if someone took her off my hands. Do you know she doesn't even come into the house anymore when she picks up the kids? That's messed up. It's more than messed up. I don't know where we went wrong. And at this point, it doesn't matter, but I'm just... I'm just starting to wonder if she ever even loved you. She had four kids with you. Of course she loved you. No, we had four kids because she wanted four kids. I was content with one. But, but as our family grew, I enjoyed that chaos and that disorganization. And that became our lives. I was good with it. And it was crazy and it was hectic and we never had time to ourselves, but I enjoyed it. And all of a sudden things just grew distant. Next thing I know, she's serving me with divorce papers, and it makes me feel... Tamika, it makes me feel like I was just a sperm dog. Oh, Omar, don't say that. Hey, hey, it's cool. It's cool. We've been divorced for nearly five years, and she don't seem to miss me one bit. Do you miss her? I miss the companionship? I'm gonna be real with you. The dating selection isn't all that great when you're in your early 40s, and you got four kids. But, enough about me, what about you? How was your day in life? Honestly, it sucks. I haven't had a meaningful relationship in like a year. Don't tell me one was your last. Yep. Damn. (laughs) Okay, well, don't damn me. When was your last relationship? You don't want to know. Mm -hmm, You're talking about me, but it looks like you're having an even bigger drought. (laughs) Mega drought is more like it. Shoot, I was so desperate last night. I started calling guys I used to date before Warren. You could have called me. It would have been nice falling to sleep on the phone like teenagers. I didn't even think of it. I ended up drinking wine and watching Girls Trip for the thousandth time. Did you cry again? (laughs) You know it. Ryan's speech at the end gets me every time. So, you ready to get going? Yeah, I should probably get home and check on Brandon. Tamika? Yeah? Thanks for a great day. No. Thank you. Brandon, can you get that? I'm in the middle of a game. I'm playing online. I can't pause it. Are you expecting company? Dad's picking me up. I know he didn't just say his dad was coming over here and didn't bother to tell me. Tamika? Nathan? 
May I come in? Do you have to? Come on, Tamika, let me in. Brandon, your dad's here. I would offer you a seat, but I don't want you to stay that long. Ha ha. Very funny. I was being serious. What's your problem, Tamika? Who said there's a problem? Ever since I got engaged, you've been acting funny. Funny? Yeah, funny. Like, what is your deal with Alexis? You're stalking her Instagram? You're making false accusations about her cheating? And you had an attitude at the restaurant. I don't get you. Of course I had an attitude because it seemed like all you wanted to do was flaunt your engagement in my face. What? Is that what you think? Yes, that's exactly what I think. And I'm sure she couldn't wait to show off her huge Cartier engagement ring. <laughs> wait, how did you know where I bought it from? <laughs> no. Did you look online at rings from every jewelry store in a 10-mile radius to figure it out? Don't flatter yourself. Look, Tamika, Alexis just wants to get along with you. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. You ready? Yup. Ma, Dad and I are going to hang out for a bit. I'll text you when I'm on my way home. Where are you taking him? The basketball court. We'll probably play a few games and grab something to eat after. Is that okay with you? Of course it's okay with me. Why would you ask that? I mean, you're the one asking what the itinerary is. <laughs> like you're his probation officer or something. Is it wrong for me to want to know where my son is going? He's in good hands, Tamika. Calm down. Did you just say calm down? Uh, guys? Sorry, son. Yeah. Sorry, Brandon. Oh, oh yeah, Tamika. I'm flying to New York City in the morning for business. I'll only be gone like a couple of days. Uh, do you need anything? No, I'm good. Okay, cool. Well, I'll see you later. See you later, Mom. Later, Brandon. Ugh, I am so ready to go home. Ugh, I don't know why you came to work in the first place. You look terrible. Your outfit's cute, though. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'm getting straight in the bed when I get home. See, if you had a man to go home to, he would be able to nurse you back to health. That's what I have my son for. Mm, not the same thing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Summer colds are the worst. Oh my goodness, tell me about it. Shoot, I'm about to go to the office and take a nap. This cold medicine got me feeling so sleepy. You do know they have non-drowsy cold medicine, right? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'll be in the office if you need me. Omar? Is everything okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? You don't usually call me so early in the day. Well, when Brandon was at the house this past weekend, he mentioned you didn't feel well, so I was just calling to check on you. Ugh, I feel crappy as hell. Ugh, you feel like you're coming down with the flu? I don't think so. It seems like just a summer cold or something. Well, my grandmother makes a mean chicken noodle soup for colds. She swears by it. Ugh, too bad your grandmother doesn't know me. I would ask her to make me some. Today is your lucky day. What are you doing here? <laughs> I couldn't brag about my grandmother's chicken noodle soup and not bring you none. Oh, you really didn't have to do that, but I'm so glad you did. Have a seat. Oh, I can't stay. I was heading this way for a meeting and I just wanted to drop off the soup. Oh, thank you, Omar. That was so sweet of you. Oh, no problem. That's what friends are for. I'm going to check on you later, okay? All right. Mmm, this smells so good. Girl, who was that fine hunk of a man that just left? That was Omar. He came to bring me some soup. Podcast Omar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and why haven't you bagged that yet? Four kids or not, he could get it. I will admit, it was a very sweet gesture. If I would have known his ass was that fine, I would have told you to get with him a long time ago. Girl, if you don't do something with him, I will. <laughs> no, I'm serious. The man brought you soup and not from a can. He really likes you. 
There is no reason in this world why you shouldn't give that man a chance. <laughs> shouldn't you be on the floor right now? Ugh, I'm going, I'm going. But think about what I said. Bye, Paul. of this past weekend super lottery draw. How are you Pair feeling, Ma? Forward to claim their I'm feeling much better thanks to Omar's grandmother, Soup. <laughs> what? Omar told me you mentioned that I wasn't feeling well. It may have come up. At least you're feeling better. <laughs> Whatever. So, what's up? Um, Can you take me to my fitness tomorrow after you get off work? If I'm feeling better, but to be on the safe side, can your dad take you? Oh, he's going out of town again. Something about closing some big deal with a client. I wish he would have mentioned that he knew I wasn't feeling well. Oh, I forgot to tell you that Alexis is going to be at the fitting. Ugh. You okay, Ma? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was just, uh, ugh, about to stretch. <laughs> okay, well, I'll check on you later. <laughs> Alrighty, later. Brandon, you okay in there? Yup, I'm good. Almost done. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was ridiculous. How are you? I'm just getting over a cold, so you might not want to get too close. I'm so excited to see Brandon in his tux. Me too. I just wish Nathan could be here to see him, but I'll send him some pics. In case you didn't know, his bank is acquiring a small community bank in Southeast New England, so... He's overseeing the deal. Hmm. Lucky you. Oh, you look so handsome, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. I gotta get a picture. Brandon, you look amazing. You're a spinning image of your dad. Looking sharp, young man. How does everything feel? Feels good. Well, you definitely look good. You look perfect. You look Phenomenal. You look dashing. You look debonair. <laughs> uh, I get it. Thanks. When is your fiancé coming in to do his fitting? He's out of town on business. He's closing a really big deal. Oh, good for him. Good for us. So when can he come in? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, He could stop by early next week. She was distracted by the dollar signs. Did you have a style of mind for the shoes, Miss Vaughn? I picked a pair when I was here last time. Roger must have helped you. I'll see what he put in the system. Brandon, follow me. Tamika, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Do you have a problem with me? I'm not sure what Nathan told you, but I don't have a problem with you. What's important to me is that you and Brandon have a good relationship. Being a step-parent is a big responsibility. Oh, trust me. I never mistreat Brandon. I love him. And he knows that. He can come to me about anything. Good to know. I just want you to be okay with me and Nathan. I know that you guys were supposed to get married, and I didn't know if you were still harboring some feelings about that. Excuse me? Nathan told me you were engaged back in the day, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out because he cheated. Constantly. Well, he's not that guy anymore. Trust me. But like I said, I just want us to get along. You wouldn't want Brandon to continue to see tension between us, would you? How'd I look, Ma? I love those shoes with the tux. You look so good, Brandon. He was talking to me, but yes, Brandon, you look so handsome. And the shoes fit okay? Yep. They feel like when you're done, I'll put everything in a garment bag for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate your help. Thank you. No problem. Well, I'm going to get going unless you need me to stay. No, we're fine. Brandon, I took some pictures that I'll send to your dad, okay? Okay, cool. Thanks, Alexis. Of course. And remember what I said, okay? What is she talking about? 
Nothing, Brandon. Nothing. Damn, we finished a bottle of wine already? Luckily, I have another bottle. Good, because I was about to send Brandon to the stove. <laughs> as tall as he is, they would have sold it to him, too. So, how are you coping with this Nathan and Alexis engagement? You haven't been doing any insta-stalking, have you? Nope. I told you I am done snooping. I am minding my business. Good. The best thing for you to do is try and get along with Nathan and Alexis for Brandon's sake. Yeah, well, I highly doubt that's going to happen. You are a trip. You have a podcast called Parently Ever After, but you can't stand your baby daddy. Every Sunday that you're on the air, you pretend that you and Nathan have this great co-parenting relationship when it's all lies. Okay, so maybe I do embellish our relationship a little, but hey, my listeners don't need to know what goes on behind the scenes. Apparently Ever After is a platform for parents to share their experiences and I share what I want them to know. I don't have to divulge everything. Maybe not. But if I were a parent, I would at least want to know that the host is being open and honest. Why? What do you mean, why? It makes them more relatable. Girl, please. I don't want to know that the person I'm seeking advice from is going through the same stuff as me. I want to get advice from people who overcame the struggle, not who are still in it. But Tamika, you're trying to help people co-parent more effectively while pretending you've overcome the struggle. There are so many podcasts out there that are successful because all they do is man hate and bash. But I didn't want to do that on my podcast. So if I got to paint a pretty picture of me and Nathan to my listeners, so be it. You know what, girl? I ain't even mad at you. Do your thing and get your bag. I'm just laughing at the irony in all this. So let me ask you, what is it going to take for you to get along with Nathan? And why do you hate him so much? I don't necessarily hate him. I just hate the way he treated me when we were together. All he did was cheat. And yes, I was a fool for continuing to take him back and for believing he wouldn't do it again. But I loved him. Now, fast forward five years later, and he's not only engaged, but being the man that I wish he were to me. And to be honest, I don't know what it's going to take for me to get along with him. I know what it's going to take a man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious. If you were happy in your love life, you wouldn't even be thinking about Nathan. I don't know if you bothered to look outside lately, but there are a ton of men to choose from. And I'm not talking about men from way back when done forgot about you. Whatever. Up here calling men from back in the day <laughs> instead of someone that might actually like you. Like Omar. Are you blushing? Well, we went out the other day and I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a good time. Okay, it's about damn time. Omar may have 50 million kids, but he's a really good guy. Yeah. To be honest, Kelly, I'm realizing that more and more. I get so caught up in the reasons why it wouldn't work between us instead of focusing on the reasons why it would. <laughs> 